Welcome to Wind Down Real Estate with the Matchmakers team. I'm Sarah. I'm Nikki. And I'm Katie. Cheers. Cheers. It's Wind Down Real Estate Day. So we are starting a new series where we are going to be breaking down different topics for you guys with each video that we do and just getting real with you about real estate and the state of North Dakota and our communities and anything you want to know. Send us a message. We'll make you a video. So today we are going to actually be talking about moving to Minot. Are you moving to Minot? This is the top five things you need to know. Mickey, why don't you kick us off? All right. So. First thing we want to talk about is community. We all love our community that we're in. Um, you know, we have a great community here. We really uh, go in and we have tons of events throughout the year. We have the state fair, oh, the which state I'm fair. sorry, but cheese curds, they're my favorite. Oh, um, cheesecake on stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's interesting. Mini donuts. Mini donuts. Yeah, 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 everybody gets mini donuts. donuts. Or the giant donut this year. Oh, it was, oh, yeah, yeah, I never tried that one. Yeah, I missed out. It was Rides, the concerts, it's the state fair. All of it, it's, it's amazing. One of our other events is the Scandinavian Host Fest. Yes. Host Fest, Host the fest on who you talk to, um, or how do you pronounce it, or any of that. So one of my favorite things about the Host Fest, um, volunteering. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. I volunteered for the for several years for different things there, whether whether it's medical, security, or just being there. So I love the volunteer uh, community, and I love how everybody just knows there's a mission and they all just show up to help. And that's probably the best thing I love about our community is we all are here for each other. And when everybody people, needs help, the people that they're come there. in from all over. I mean, there are people that come in from all over the country Absolutely. to see our host fest and see the heritage that comes with it. And our community is so welcoming to people from everywhere. And that's such a big part because they wouldn't come if we yeah, didn't no. welcome them and we didn't put on this great festival and have concerts and the food. Oh, the cheese buttons. Food. It, it, can you tell them all about the food yeah. on things? Yeah. But it's yeah. the food. I mean, for real. So Host Fest is such, such a big event, I think, Huge. for our community in this area. It is, absolutely. Um, a couple of the other things that we have that you could notice throughout the year uh, is our sports and our clubs. So we have some for all ages, whether you're a little bitty or whether you're not so little bitty. There is something here for you to do. You just have to you know, know the right people, find the right channels. It's not very hard to do. And then you'll have something to fill your time with. Um, our next thing is our schools. Yes. So our oh, schools are yes. pretty awesome here. We don't have, in my opinion, yeah, I might be humble, but whatever. We don't have bad schools here. We don't have a, this one's better than that one. And we don't have buyers that are saying, I have to be in this school district. That's not a thing where we live. Our private and our public schools are both, both awesome choices. We have a very small um, teacher to, or Am I saying student right? To teacher, student to yeah, teacher ratio, relationship. Which is really great. And it, it just, it really makes it a small town feeling uh, school district. Yeah. I, you know, your kids succeed and if they have questions, they don't have that. Uh, int or that that struggle that they're intimidated by such a big school or such a big class size or or they're not the ones left in the corner because it's it really yeah, is a big community yes. to yes. succeed absolutely mm -hmm. oh, for sure and our next thing would be um, you know kind of like our community the so I'm going to kick it over to Katie yeah. and she's going to tell us the surrounding communities yes. let's hear it yes there are several surrounding communities around Minot that are within an easy distance, um, gives you a really good small town feel, and you'll also get to enjoy all the amenities that Minot has to offer. Perfect. And awesome. we're also, another big thing is Minot is also centrally located in North Dakota, making it easy to get to other cities and that are just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Um, and a few of our must-see destinations, yes. Medora. Absolutely. Absolutely love Medora. It is very, very beautiful down there. See the Here's musical, the Medora musical. There, so best views ever there. Yeah. You wouldn't believe that 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 type of scenery would be in North Dakota no. and just three ish hours from here. You you wouldn't believe it if we told you and we showed you the photos. So looks like a whole different country. You'll, you'll see, yeah. you know, you're gonna see the videos or check it out, Google it. What do they have there? What are the big things they do in Medora? So the mu musical, that one's a lot of, course, of fun. That's like every night. 
Yes, it is every night. And the show is amazing. And it's very neat. one thing that's nice is they're never the same show. Like, you could go always every year, always and it's always going to be different, and it is amazing. Outdoor. Um, yes, if, outdoor theater, so you get to be underneath the stars, yes, and, and fireworks, yes. and there's animals. Real live cowboys jumping I, on the stage. I can actually say my daughter was on stage. Mine too, when yes. she was, I think, two and a half. Yeah, because I was pregnant, and she got to go up on stage and dance with all the cowboys. Love and love the it. best thing, and she still remembers it. And still talks about she it. Does. She does. She still, still talks yep. about it. Four years later, she's like, I remember when I danced on stage. So it, it is a memory-making place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you love golf, they have a, an amazing golf course, the Bully Pulpit Golf Course. Um, and this is all located in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Which you're going to see. You get to drive through it. Yes. So you get to get Very out awesome. and drive with the buffalo mm -hmm. and the prairie dogs Long and the deer and, and elk and It's a very horses. beautiful, Rams. beautiful drive. Yeah. They have everything out there, rattlesnakes, yeah. so be careful. Mm -hmm. be careful. Some of the animals you don't want to get too close. Yeah. Remember, they are wild animals, but they are accustomed to a, a lot more people than yes. regular typical wild animals. Mm -hmm. But you get to see a lot. Where else cool animals? Well, if we're jumping over to Bismarck, you can, they have the Dakota Zoo, which is very nice. Great it's zoo. a very, very nice zoo. Um, and if you love water slides, the Raging River Water Park That's is there as well. That is a lot of fun. Um, my favorite's the Lazy River. Of I course. Just, of course. just gets to sit out in the sun in that Lazy River. And yeah, just that was just adorable. All the it was you just know. sit there and relax. Yeah. Yes. Just very, it's like very relaxed. Um, and last but not least, we have our great outdoor life. Oh, huge. If you're here, huge. Um, there are lots of lakes and ample hunting and fishing all year round. Oh yes. Yes. And you, everywhere you go. Everywhere. I mean, direction. There's, lakes there's everywhere. North, south, east, west. There's a lake within within an hour. You know, yep. I mean, depending yep. on where you're going. And you can hunt. You can fish. You can swim. You can whatever. You know, you yeah. can. Drink. And that's in the summertime. Yeah. And in the wintertime, yep. you will find literally communities on the ice. Yes. And all of the permanent ice houses and the clams that people are out doing their day fishing with. And that's too on almost every lake that you'll find because the fishing is just so abundant here. And the people, everybody knows everybody's fish house, so they know where you're all at. And they you're know out of line, your neighbor's got a line. Yep, you need a hook, your neighbor's got a hook. It's, it's that kind of place here. It is. So it gives you great opportunities to get outside and go do something. Yes. Go do something fun and exciting. Yes. And if you're going to do all that fun stuff, you have to pay for it. So how do we pay for that stuff, We have to get Sarah? a job. And yes. That is our fifth thing you need to know is the job market here. We are bustling with job opportunities. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. You. you Everywhere you go, you're going to see a hire, hiring now, help wanted sign. Um, some of our greater industries that we have around here is agricultural. Um, we've huge got farming community. Huge farming community. We have our energy services, the medical services, and the military. Those are kind of like our top. Um, granted, there's jobs everywhere. Um, we are also rapidly growing here. So the food and services, that's also growing. And small business ownership. Huge. Yes. We are big supporters. Our community is big supporters of yes, small business. Yes, with the expansion of Maya and the surrounding areas, we're seeing more and more small businesses, and it's probably one of the my favorite things about Maya. I think so too. Is we support each other and we help each other try and start that small business and grow it and be the best that we can be with it, which sounds kind of corny, but, but it's, it's true. true. I mean, we really She do. has a problem, I have a solution, we sit together yes, and we, we try to, you know, we try to keep our money out. local so that way when we, we run into community. you, when we run into you at hockey and we know you've got a business, we want to use your services because we want your kids to stay in hockey and do the things that you can do by running your business. So that's probably my favorite thing about the Minot area. We build each other up instead of trying you know, to tear each other down. Yeah, so exactly. I, that's the best thing about our community, I think, is we build each other up. That we do. And so if you want to know more about Minot, if you want to know more about you know the communities, you know where to find us. We are on social media. Everywhere. Uh, sold by matchmakers. You can find us on all the platforms. We really hope you enjoyed our time together tonight. We hope you enjoyed your wine. I know yes. I did. Yes. Cheers, cheers. Hope 
Okay, Anna, right. every one of you has a glass of wine please, because you please. can't wind Next down time, real estate without it. Next time, get your glass full and open up your wind down real estate with us and um, stay tuned. Check us out for tips, tricks, DIY, and more. And we will see you again soon.